Um, faintly. I, I remember okay. him doing the Falcons. I don't remember this, I don't think. Okay, this would have been early 90s, um, probably prior to the Goodwill Games. I think they had some series on TBS, which was like um, where they would go through like Olympic sports and have like, you know, major meets from the Olympic sports kind of as a way to build up the Olympics. Um, I forget what it was called. But anyway, uh, Jim Ross got the job of, a of announcing, um, I think it was a national amateur championship meet. But it's a, it, was an, it was a major amateur meet. He did the announcing. Everything was fine. And before it aired, people in the, actually, actually right after, it, uh, Jim Ross, I believe, did it with Russ Hellickson, who was a very famous amateur wrestler from, I'm um, thinking, the maybe late 60s, early 70s. And, you know, everything was fine there. Then after Jim Ross left, um, everyone was just like, oh, my God, that's Jim Ross, the pro wrestling announcer. And, you know, amateur wrestling people still <laughs> hate, hate pro wrestling. And it was just like, it, it had nothing they, they to do must, with whether... They must hate good announcing, too. <laughs> Well, I don't think I don't think that the quality of the announcing ever was an issue. It was just that this pro wrestling announcer came and did it, and people like freaked. And when the thing finally aired, which was like you know six weeks later, and there was lots of controversy during that period. I remember sitting down to watch the thing, um, just because I was kind of curious as how Jim Ross would do doing amateur wrestling, and you know just because I wanted to see the show. And lo and behold, Jim Ross was not on the show, and they had an announcer who did voiceovers who was not. You know, they never showed like any. Scenes of him like actually there, and they showed, <laughs> so he was edited all, completely out of the tape. Yeah, I think like, I just wanted clarification that it was just because he was a pro wrestling announcer, not anything wrong with the announcing. Because when I first read that, I thought, "What the hell was wrong with his announcing?" And then I remember that story. So that's so silly to remove someone who did a good job at something just because they do something else you don't like. Well, the the the, the reason that they removed that they used for removing him, okay, was that they claimed that he was trying to recruit, and I believe it was Bruce Baumgartner, although I could be wrong about the wrestler, into pro wrestling, and the amateur people were mad. Okay. And I don't think that any of that was, was... I mean, I have no doubt he probably went up to him and was talking to him and may have, you know, may have thrown in something like, you know, have you ever thought about pro wrestling, which is a natural question. And the guy said no. And, like, you know, then all of a sudden it's like, He's out here trying to steal our, you know, steal our talent. Oh, well, Lord, we can't have these guys, you know, out there training their whole life and actually get paid for it. <laughs> so at some, at some point. <laughs>